All right, scholars, we're now going to take a look at this particular understanding. Now, let's start out with if you had an operating loss. Operating losses of a period may be carried forward indefinitely. If you have a carry forward, then the journal entry would be a deferred tax asset and you'd credit the tax benefit rule. So that would be the first area that we would be showing here. Now, what happens if there's an uncertain tax uh, deduction that you took in order to get that? So uncertain tax positions, tax position examples such as a deduction that's very aggressive and maybe isn't allowed, or allocation of income between jurisdictions where you're trying to lower the tax rate, but if the government were to learn about the allocation, they wouldn't approve it, or decisions to exclude certain items from being reported as income. All of those are aggressive tax positions. The tax benefit under the U.S. GAAP, it requires a more than likely, a better than 50% chance that you would be able to ultimately win in order to show it. And then even if you believe you'd win with a better than 50% chance, you're only allowed to show the benefit that's above 50% likely. The next item is the enacted rate. If you take a look at the example inside the box here, we had the $268,000 taxable income. We then multiplied it times the tax rate that was in effect, and that was the $93,800 we currently owed. So there, that's your, that's your current amount. Then the enacted rate. Deferred taxes is based on the applicable tax rate. If the tax rate is different from one year to the next, you use the enacted rate for the future years. An example might be that if in the future years the tax rate were to change, let's say it was to change from 35 to 30, then we would ultimately use 30% in that case, and we would say the future tax obligation would be based on the 30% times the 32,000. And then finally, the treatment of the adjustment for the changes. We're going to see this in a problem coming up, but the net concept is if you already had temporary differences in there from the previous year, you add the new temporary differences to the previous year's temporary differences, you compute what the total amount should be based on the enacted rate, and then you compare it to where you, what you've put in so far in total amount, and the incremental change would be the additional amount for this year. So those are some of the fundamentals, and we're going to be taking a look at a calculation that requires us to do that in our next skills set practice.